Welcome to Courage on the Pitch. North Carolina champions again! Here's Megan O'Keefe. Welcome back to another episode of Courage on the Pitch presented by Wake Orthopedics Urgent Care. And I will try not to get emotional here, but this is my last episode uh, of Courage on the Pitch. And um, I didn't really plan what I was going to say here, but um, I will say the logistics. I am. Um, I got a new job opportunity with the Chicago Fire MLS team up in Chicago, obviously. Um, so I will be leaving my my full time job with the Courage as director of communications, and um, with that, leaving this position. And um, gosh, I like not to get too emotional, but I, I for anyone listening, anyone who has listened to these episodes who has followed the team, who's been a fan of the team, I could not thank you enough for your support of this team. And I just want to say this has been a dream come true for me to be in this position, to share these stories of these players. They're such incredible people on and off the field, as you all know. Um, So I have just felt so honored to have this opportunity uh, to do that. And this is really, really hard for me to leave. So, um, <clears throat> I have something stuck in my throat. I swear I'm not crying. Um, I've shed enough tears, but this is again, a dream of mine. So thank you all so much for, for listening to this show. Um, it really, really means a lot to me, to the players, to this club. And I hope you keep listening. Um, I know I, they're going to continue the show and as they should, this, this team is phenomenal. These players are amazing. So, Thank you. This has been truly a dream come true. And um, without further ado, I'll I'll quickly introduce our guests for my final episode. We've got Ryan Williams and Taylor Smith on the show. Uh, These are both veterans of this team. and They've both been a part of the team for a couple years now. Um, And so they've never been on the podcast. So we're really excited to have them on the show. Uh, The episode is pretty chaotic. We learn all about them and their hilarious friendship, mostly off the field uh, and their very highly competitiveness with Baton in other games, but uh, we do chat about their favorite food truck, which is Golden K Dog. They couldn't remember the name, but we just remembered it. So, giving Golden K Dog a shout out, some incredible Korean corn dogs that they love. So, uh, we will get right into our conversation with Ryan and Taylor uh, right after this break. Courage on the pitch, off the field. So, before we get into you know chatting about you guys, you guys are veterans of the team. I've never been on the podcast before, so. Obviously, we want to talk all about your journey to the courage and what got you here. But first, let's chat a little bit about the state of the team. Um, I know these past few months have been kind of like a roller coaster for you guys. Won the Challenge Cup. That was a massive, you know, victory. But then the start of the season has not been ideal, but got a massive win this past weekend. So how do you feel like that win from this past weekend has kind of like rejuvenated the team a little bit? Do you feel that at all? Either of you? Go first. No, you go first. <laughs> <laughs> um, I feel like it was just like very like much needed and stuff, but I also feel like it was such like everyone played like a massive role and stuff. So I feel like it was just like so fun and we just like knew like it was like a matter of time. And just like the challenge cup, like I feel like it was like so long and it was like a lot of like hard work. And so I feel like we didn't really get like down on ourselves when like the start of the season like wasn't like you know like super great we were like there's still so many games left like we have so much time and like we know what we're capable of so yeah yeah I thought the team played really well in Louisville which was like big I think we really needed that and I think that like it'll carry this momentum I think it'll like be a huge step for us I think that I don't know I just think everybody played well and is in a really good space and the team's getting along and we're all good and we love being around each other and everything's going well. For you guys that are both veterans of this team, like what, what is the message like to the younger players who might see, what was it like four games winless, you know, might be getting down on the dumps, but for you guys being veterans of the courage, you guys are used to success. How do you advise these younger players? Like it's going to be okay. Like keep your heads up, keep pushing. Like for, from your perspective as a veteran, what is your message to those younger players? Yeah, I think like the first thing that comes to me is like, it's a really long season and like four games is literally nothing in like the grand scheme of the season. Um, 
And like, we have a long way to go and like, we have so much time to improve. And just because you do well, it's like the same as if like we were winning these past four games is like the games behind us, we have to look ahead. So it's the same thing as like, if we're losing, like those games are behind us, we have to look ahead and keep going and keep improving. Yeah. Yeah. Like my first year before in the curry, we were the flash and we had not won a single game <laughs> until the summer <laughs> and like morale was not high, but we ended up winning the championship. And so it's kind of just like, I feel like it's nice that we can kind of like share that experience being like, it's okay. Like, again, like it's a very yeah. long season, like literally each game can change things. Like we're still right. early on enough for, you know, to have, have an impact and stuff. So yeah, yeah. I, that's what I was going to add to that is, um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, totally what my girl said. <laughs> no, I was going to say is I just feel like things can change so fast <laughs> and like in the standings, like, I just think it's different every week. Like one team will be at the top and then the next week they're at rock bottom and you know, it just happens. You guys are like, testament to that. Maybe yeah. we won the championship, but you know, started, gotta start from somewhere. Um, well, you're you're facing, okay. I may or may not have wiped my calendar because RIP I'm leaving the team, but this weekend you're playing the, the Washington Spirit, right? Coming up. Yeah. What what's the vibe going into this game where you've literally played this team like a hundred times now this season? Like, do you still approach it like it's any game? I know Sean likes to say, you know, we only focus on us. It's our game, but you've played this team so many times. Do you feel like you kind of know what to expect? Am I going first? No, you go. Okay. Um, yeah, okay. I mean, not to like verbatim say what like Sean is like saying, but. I feel like we have played them so many times. Like we're so familiar with them that like we literally just need to focus on our tactics mm -hmm. just because I feel like when we do the press right, when like we're all on the same page, like we're just very hard to beat no matter what team it is and stuff. And so I feel like coming off of Louisville, we all have that same mentality and just like hopefully we can carry it into this weekend. Yeah. I mean, I think it helps that like we've played them so many times. So we like kind of know what to expect. But I think also for us, it's just about like being better like each time we play them like we're playing them better every time so i think it'll be good mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll take your word for it i'm staring at megan <laughs> you're so self-obsessed so <laughs> <laughs> you were talking and i was like <laughs> wait uh, also i'm sorry that on the board i put ryan's name first but we made sure that on the video taylor's name was first <laughs> Yeah. Well, are people going to see that my name is first on this thing? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, they are, Taylor. No, they are. <laughs> yes, they are. Oh, really? Perfect transition into our conversation about your flourishing friendship. Um, <laughs> so, my first question to the both of you is, do you all remember your first impressions of each other? when you? First I do. Wait, hold on. No, I feel like you don't. I, I do. No, I do. No, it was before I was on the team. Do you remember that? FaceTime? No. Okay, you go. It was at Bear and Deb's apartment. And like, you know. Wait, when? It was like, I don't know what year it was, but okay. Or just correct me if I'm not right. And this was like a different year. But yeah, like, so I've been on a few teams, but I came back to visit, really good friends with Bear and Deb. And I was at their apartment. And in walks in Ryan. And it was when. <laughs> Like, I don't know, Deb and Ryan were on this like waxing kick and you came into your armpits waxed. Oh my gosh. That? Wait, were you visiting in town? I think I was visiting. I think you were on FaceTime. No, I remember vividly sitting there. You were on the floor and they did the thing. What year was this? Because I was going to say that when we traveled to Seattle once, uh -huh. I came to dinner with Mare and Deb uh -huh. and you were there. And we went to your apartment and you had that big other dog, I think. Do you remember that? We went that, to, we, we went to a burger place. I remember that. It was on the water. I don't know why I don't, I don't remember that. But I was also going to say, I remember the first time last year that I met you. Mm -hmm. And someone was like, had all those little like <laughs> plastic, um, like, Things that you could lay on for your back. Do you know what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, three things. What'd you say? 
Like the punctury things? Yeah. Like, when I came upstairs to get mine from Mary, I and those. everybody has them, and we have like 50 in them in the locker room. Oh, somebody yeah, yeah, yeah. was giving them out, and I came. That up. was me. I was giving them out. Oh, you were? Yes. Oh, thanks. <laughs> So I came up to Mary and Debs to get it, and you were there, and I was like, "Oh my God, hi!" Like, <laughs> I know I like knew we were gonna be friends, but you were a little cool for me. <laughs> Wait, cool or cool? She was acting a little cool for me, which is <laughs> fine. Shocker! <laughs> but it took a little warming up, and then I really feel like the. Our barbecue like really broke the ice. Oh yeah. Cool. What happened at the barbecue? What happened at the barbecue, Taylor? <laughs> I like I don't know. It was the summer. We were all out by the pool, just like having a good time and like out of nowhere. And like as you know, it wasn't a great year. Me and the universe weren't really like vibing that way. They well. were not aligning. <laughs> no, and like we were sitting underneath an umbrella. I have to read like we were underneath an umbrella. And I think maybe my head tilts back half of a millimeter like this. And all of a sudden I feel this wet thing oh. right here. And like, I was like, oh my God. Like I, it's clear as like a clear day. Like I know it's not raining. It was bird poop. And oh. I look at Ryan and I was like, Ryan, help. And she literally looked at me and was like, about to throw up and said no. I was like, no, eh, no, get away from me. That's so disgusting. Like, I was like, that is so dirty. Birds are so <laughs> filthy. Like, yeah, as I'm like, not touching that. And they had to wipe it out of my eyes. She's like, they carry so many diseases. It like is a health hazard. I'm like, okay. <laughs> it was so funny. She's like this. I don't know. I was just bird poop all over her eye. I was like, you're on your own, sister. <laughs> Figure it out. That was unreal. Oh my god. And ever since in history. Yeah. You were just such a supportive friend to inform her of the diseases, but not like Yeah. Exactly. No. I was like, no. <laughs> Get away. <laughs> I heard you've all you've been a supportive friend as well in in cat sitting or dog sitting for chance. Oh yeah. Um <laughs> Ryan isn't really a cat person, which is when I knew she was going to be a great friend. I okay, for the listeners, though, Taylor, how many, um, what are your pets? Remind us of your pets. I have a Siamese cat named Theo, and then a lab Australian shepherd named Izzy. And I don't know what kind of emergency I have one day, but I don't know. I had to, like, jet. And I didn't want to leave my cat by himself just because he gets a little, little sad, and he was, like, a little sick at the time. So I FaceTimed Ryan and I was like, hey, Ryan, like, what are you up to? And like, she was just sitting in her apartment. And I was like, would you mind like hanging out with my cat, Theo? Like, can I bring him down? No, she so was, no, she was literally like, <laughs> Ryan, Theo has diarrhea. Like, can you watch him? Can I bring him to your apartment? And I was like, um, I didn't even think about that. He was sick. And I was just kind of like, I don't know if I want to watch a cat. Like, I just don't know how to interact with cats. Like, I don't really know. And where her they... and Theo were never really BFFs. Yeah, no. we've never really like clicked. But anyway, I was like, sure, I'm gonna say yes, like be a good friend. And then I called her back like two minutes later, and I was like, hold on, he has diarrhea, Taylor. Is he like gonna come and make a mess in my apartment? Like, I'm so particular about my things. And she was like, no, 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 he'll be fine. Like, there's no litter box there. Like. So she brought him and um, you guys bonded that day. I mean, I don't know if we bond. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, literally in my kitchen sink. And I was like, hey, Theo, get out of there. And I like talking to him like he was a human. I like ran over to get him out of my sink. And he's like scurries across the counter, <laughs> leaving like paw prints everywhere. And I'm just like, I'm not a cat person. I'm not a cat person. Oh, I feel like I'm not going to say it was karma that there was poop involved from your earlier experience. Yeah, I know. That's so true. Because we never had you guys on here. And so obviously I want people to get to know you guys. But I was going to ask if you two were facing off 1v1 in Catan, I think we now know who might win. But I was going to ask soccer-wise. Wait, who would win in Catan? 
versus Dukaton. Wait, between us, who would win? Yeah, 1v1. Oh, well, you can't really play Catan 1v1. Or do you yeah. mean, like, who would have the most wins? Or what do you mean? I don't know. <laughs> oh, I feel like there's just, we gotta, we gotta actually <laughs> one v one soccer okay somewhere on the google taylor you're listed as a defender which uh-huh. i know is the case. but now current position you're a forward brian you're a defender who would win one v one honestly who would win taylor i don't know i feel like both of us would like actually rather die than let the other one win that's true. i don't know who's out we're not I walking off the field. literally <laughs> go wipe and live <laughs> before i let her beat me like, there's As some, would I. There's just <laughs> some people that you play against, and just like over my dead body, <laughs> would I let you beat me? <laughs> I remember one v ones were the death of like I hate one v ones so yeah. much. It was so nerve wracking, like more so than a yeah. game. Yeah. yeah. Do you guys do them often? I saw them on in the Instagram story. You guys were doing one v ones. Did it really yesterday, bad. and it was like. Yeah, that it was, was kind of a crazy one v one drill. It was tough just because like it was happening so fast, so yeah. you like can't really get set. So people are just taking one touch by people and then going, <laughs> and you have to get reset. You have no time to yeah. blow by this way, and then you get like stuck in the middle. Yeah, and well, yeah. I'd rather someone just like blow past me than like have the time to like get set and then actually and like apply d- defense and then still get blown by and <laughs> that and, yeah. and actually be a defender versus <laughs> uh, blow by me. <laughs> Who who is like who do you would you not want to face off against one v one on the team other than each other? Mm. Terrifying. I'm trying to think. Who would I not want to face off one v one? You're like anyone. I'll take them. Doesn't matter. Mm. Are you thinking like defenders? No, I'm thinking like everybody. Do I do I? Does it have to be a defender? literally like changes who they are because i feel like i knew teammates that literally like all of a sudden were a completely different person when they went one once they just like leveled up and it's like whoa do less i'm thinking as it of it as like someone has the ball and i'm defending is mm-hmm. that right and then i was thinking for you like you have the ball wait i i, I was not thinking that in depth i was just thinking like mono y mono <laughs> like <laughs> Hmm. I would say I would say Mary because I feel like me and Mary are kind of similar to me and Ryan. Yeah, we like, would both rather die than let the right, other one win. Right. I'm trying to think who it would be for me. Caitlin. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of was thinking Jay mm. because she's really quick and fast, and she's also like so strong on the ball and just. She's like just she, kind of a little pest. She's to a play against. Resilient on one v one. She's she's so resilient. I think for <laughs> <laughs> I know because I'm, I've played against her for so long because she's on the left and I'm on the right. That's true. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think Jay for me. Well, that's what I was thinking too for you, Ryan, because you guys kind of played the same position, so it's like really a matchup. You're like, oh, right, I can't do right. Me outside back versus outside back like <laughs> yeah at least like as a defender if it's so <laughs> yeah you're like okay well there's my good but yeah um how much time do we have left uh let's get into our little game because we've just covered so much <laughs> we're gonna or is it 30 minutes what it, what do you mean how much time do we have left is it 30 minutes or is it like to keep it under 30 just time sorry you go we have <laughs> <laughs> Wait, but before this this conversation's all over the place, I did hear about um your bonding over the Asian corn dog truck. Oh yes. Yes. We have a very big bond over that. Let's hurry because I also want to play the game. Okay. Okay. Then go on. Okay. So oh I can't say where we live. So where we live, there's like a monthly calendar and they put like events like on it. And we saw this corn dog on there. And like the way Ryan's balcony faces. She was staring at this, the parking lot and the food truck was in there all day. Literally, I was getting updates every hour that there's a nonstop line at this corner. It was crazy. I was like, <laughs> this truck is going to be a bust. No <laughs> one's going to go. Like, I don't even know what this is. And there was a line all day. It was a total hit. Yeah. And like, so I was like, finally, like, should we go? She was like, yeah. We raced downstairs. We're waiting. We get up there. 
she orders her corn dog and she's like, I don't have my wallet. And I was like, this we're waiting all day and this is a $10 corn dog. Anyways, it actually was like delicious. You can get like sweet potato yeah. on it. Like what else can you get? It's so good. It's kind of like sweet too. Like it's got like a thick, like mm-hmm. fried yeah. crust and it has like sugar on it, right? It does. It has, but like, it's not too much sugar. You can dip it in like- yeah different little sauces yeah, it's got all the sauces and the people who own it are like married and like the guy like runs the what's they called the cashier the, yeah like, whatever and like she's back there just like dipping corn dogs it's and really cute. cute they're so sweet and they're really good and they remembered us because we naturally we were back the next month they remembered us but it's not <laughs> the calendar for june and i i brought it up very quickly i was like i'm gonna go raise a stink at the front office and then I was like, in reality, they're just going to be like, it doesn't just come to this parking lot. You can find it on Twitter or wherever it is. <laughs> Do you know the name of it? Do we yes. know the name of it? What's it called? We need to give them we're a shout out. I was because... going to say, we're doing it such a disservice because yeah. it's always great customer service and the food is like so good. I'm looking it up right now. Okay. While you're looking it up, I'll, I'll set the, set the, I was going to say set the mood, set the, uh, the scene for the game <laughs> as we play on the the podcast with our pairs do a, we're doing a little friendship game and basically i may or may not have individually contacted both of you to uh, get some answers for some very uh random questions about each of you so we will start with questions about taylor to ryan so you have to guess what the correct answer is they're going to be multiple choice so you're okay. gonna have- some options. But okay. Start out. You can get them without multiple choice. I feel like you don't need that. Okay, maybe. Just <laughs> give, yeah, do without multiple choice for her, but I want multiple choice. I was dying at my multiple choice answers that I made up. Um, so, okay. <laughs> but we'll, okay. Do we want to do no no options? Yeah. Uh, if she, let's try it. If she can't get it, then, then do your multiple choice. Okay. Okay. Well, then we'll start out, uh, we'll start out easy. What was Taylor's dream job? Growing up, a dancer. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> uh, to be fair, we we haven't spoken about that, so she can yeah give her multiple choice for that yeah, one. Yeah, honestly, I was about to put dancer as one of the multiple choices. I'm like, this is hilarious. Uh, but okay, so is it singer, veterinarian, or chef? In her defense, I do brag a lot how I was like in jazz tap ballet she sends in. me all of her like portraits from when she was little <laughs> in musical theater i was in annie like so that's not her fault but, okay, okay so a chef a vet or a singer, singer. A singer um oh my gosh this is hard i can see all of them thank you because you are kind of a good singer <laughs> um i want to say vet <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Yay. <laughs> oh my god, we have uh, several to go, but that was good. Good start. <laughs> All right. Low level, yeah. Like next, we'll, we'll do three for each of you. Okay, so the next one, second one, uh, Taylor's Desert Island song. Um, is it Latch by the Sam Smith rendition, uh, Iris by the Goo Goo Dolls, or Baby by Justin Bieber? Iris. <laughs> It has to be. Taylor <laughs> listens to that in cryo. I do, yeah. I'm in there shivering like She's this. like, yeah, you need just to know your life. It's so good. Her tears are frozen, <laughs> like this shivering. It's a jam. It's a jam. <laughs> All right, okay, last last one for Taylor. Her favorite show ever. Oh, just the ever? Uh, is it The Real World? Is it strong medicine or is it my super sweet 16? Gotta be strong medicine. <laughs> is it? Yes. Okay. Oh. You preface it be like the show you like kind of like grew up on. And I was thinking about the airport, how I was saying strong medicine and you were like, this is the Kroger version of Grey's Anatomy. It literally is. <laughs> I was like, who watches this? I was like, have you seen Grey's Anatomy? She's like, no, never. <laughs> Watch this. Okay, it wasn't great. That was good. I've no, never. <laughs> that show is good. <laughs> all right. So, did Ryan get all of them correctly? She did. Yeah. yeah. 
Nice. Good job. All right. I'm Are very, you a good listener, Taylor? I, thank God there's multiple choice. <laughs> Honestly, I wrote I wrote four questions for Ryan just because he gave me extra intel. So if we need to do a fourth, then we'll get there. All right. Here's a, we're going to start out with a tough one. Um, I'm going to give you a list of three names. Which one's not one of her dog's names? Okay. Okay. I feel confident. I, you better. Bonnie, Pepper, or Angus? Pepper is not a dog's name. <laughs> that was tricky. That was tricky. Because their name's Piper, right? Yes, Piper. I just knew, I for sure knew Bonnie and Angus. Pepper did not sound, it didn't it's sound Piper, familiar. but that was so close. Good job, Tay. You Thanks, listen. Dude. You really yeah. listen. I do love your dogs. They're so cute. All right. Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's <laughs> uh, yeah, I know. All right. This is just one question. <laughs> All right. Ryan's favorite food growing up was it bacon, 7 Eleven slushies, or ravioli? Hmm. Ooh. What I was thinking in my head wasn't even an option. What were you thinking? <laughs> what were those things you got at the airport? It was like fried artichokes. <laughs> no, Ryan, we both got this too. I know. I I don't know why I just branded that your favorite food. You are you brought that up so many times. I'm like, drop it, Taylor. I ordered fried artichokes <laughs> one, one time. time. <laughs> it was a delicacy. They really are. I hmm. So I would like the 7 Eleven slushies, but I feel like you're more of like a ravioli. You're looking at it. <laughs> that's not right. <laughs> Is that your final answer? You already said that, so that's your answer. It's ravioli. Eh, no. Why are you rooting against me? This is just like Catan. This is why we can't play games with Wait, each other. Wait, let me guess again. It was 7-Eleven, and then what was the first one? <laughs> the correct answer was bacon. Oh. <laughs> I literally would come home from school and have bacon for snack. I mean, it's delicious. It's good. It's good. It is good. Are you okay? Yes. <laughs> I'm recovering from something. <laughs> anyway, okay. I actually received a celebrity question submission from oh. Carrie Ricaro. OMG. Yes. So. Carrie said, hi, Ryan, it's me. I love you. You can only have one of these for the rest of your life. Which is it? Your stylish wardrobe, including shoes, coffee, or being able to rinse off before going to sleep? Being able to rinse off before I go to sleep. That's good. A hundred percent. Is that just a habit? You, you have to yes, have I mean, I have to do it. I, I've already taken I two showers today. Should. Yeah, I'll take another shower before bed. I hate going to sleep and having my legs stick together. Like the humidity, I can't do it. I am so passionate about it. It's actually insane. <laughs> I thought you were just going to say, I hate going to bed like a little bit dirty. There's legs, more than, no, there's more to together. it than that. There's more to it than that. I'm very, I'm a very particular person. <laughs> I feel like we learned so much about you guys in very short time. So uh, thanks for being on the last episode that of my time here. Coming up on Courage on the Pitch. All right. Uh, thanks to Ryan and Taylor for joining us on the show. Uh, coming up, the Courage take on the Washington Spirit on the road. They just had a massive win against Louisville this past weekend. So finally getting a win on the books for the regular season. And uh, so hopefully they continue that winning momentum. Uh, but yeah, I, I hate goodbyes. I'm more of a, it's never goodbye to see you later. So uh, with that, I will just say, see you later to everyone. Thank you again for tuning into the show. Keep tuning in, keep supporting this team. Uh, again, incredible players on and off the field. So thanks again. Uh, you know, you can always listen to the podcast wherever you get your podcasts or watch on 99.9 The Fans YouTube channel or on WREL Sports Plus on Thursdays at 9 p.m. So with that, uh, this is Megan O'Keefe signing off from Courage on the Pitch uh, for the last time. So.
Thank you all so much. Courage on the Pitch with Megan O'Keefe is part of the Capital Broadcasting Podcast Network with new shows available every Thursday on WRALsportsfan.com or wherever you get your podcasts. End scene.